This is CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Geneva. And here, buried a few hundred feet below the ground, is the Large Hadron Collider, the world's most powerful accelerator. With a price tag of about $10 billion, it accelerates subatomic particles to more than 99.99% of the speed of light and smashes them into each other. In the showers of debris produced by these collisions, scientists at places like this have discovered a whole zoo of strange and exotic particles. And right now, they are chasing one of the most elusive. The fundamental particles in the universe all contain different amounts of mass, which we usually think of as weight. Without mass, these particles would never combine to form the familiar atoms that make up all the stuff we see in the world around us. But what creates mass? And why do different particles have different masses? Try as they might, no one had been able to answer this perplexing question. Then, one weekend, after a walk outside Edinburgh, Higgs had a peculiar idea. To see how this works, think of a particle's mass like an actor's fame. And the Higgs ocean is like the paparazzi. Some particles, like unknown actors, pass through with ease. The paparazzi simply aren't interested in them. But other particles, like superstars, have to push and press. And the more those particles struggle to get through, the more they interact with the ocean, and the more mass they gain. Today, the idea Higgs pioneered, called the Higgs field, is crucial to our understanding of space. The Higgs field is everywhere. It's something that even in the emptiest vacuum of space has an effect. It gives you mass. So I think Higgs actually deserves credit for being one of the people that said, space is stuff, it has properties in it that are intrinsic, that you can't get rid of, you can't turn them off. The only problem? There's no physical proof that the Higgs field exists. At least not yet. But here at CERN, scientists are attempting to smash particles together with so much energy that they will knock loose a piece of the Higgs field. 